Hey everybody, back again. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I uh, don't get quiet time. Listen, Shh. it's quiet in here. Don't get that much. The boys are gone. So uh, I thought this quick time to make a quick video. You'll see some Australian camouflage behind me if you're wondering. With the SLR here, I got a couple things to talk to you about. Uh, if, in case you guys haven't seen Budman 007's channel, this is his new uh, L1A1 that's been shortened substantially in a 30 round. This is a DSA build, I think. And it's uh, my project is to roadie it up like the Rhodesians did. Uh, it would be three color camo. And he also kind of tacked and cooled it up. And while it was in my safe upstairs, here's his uh, EOTech type halo site. While I was up in my safe somehow, this cover got broke. So if anybody knows where I can buy just this cover, it's got the hooks on it, not the flat one. You know, if you can PM me or, or you know, make a message on here. Uh, I haven't really looked that hard on the internet. I'm sure they're out there. But if anybody knows where I can just go get one so I can replace Budman's cover, that would be awesome. But that'll be, that'll be uh, camoed up as well. And I, I, I had this set of... Austrian, I call it blobs and splotches, but some people call it the bunny rabbit pattern because it little spots on it look like bunny rabbit ears here and there. This is an older set that I had. I don't think it was ever actually issued. It never had a name or patches on it, but it's pristine. And I just got this one about four months ago at Armed Forces Day, and it's a complete set pants. And it's the newer style where your rank goes here, not on your epaulets, and uh, has your Velcro patches. It says uh, Australian, the all the Army of Australia or the Ar Australian Army, and this is the guy's name. His flag would have been here. So, just another one for the World Camo Collection. I didn't have time to make a separate one for it, so I just got thrown in here with the L1A1 stuff. But I also have purchased a new firearm. Matter of fact, three firearms. I'm waiting to get one back from the Baltimore City Police Department that was stolen from me six years ago. And they're trying to you know, jump through all these hoops, do all this paperwork, and it's my gun. I mean, I mean, I did it all, and it should be getting back, hopefully, next week, because I talked with the Commandant for the Pennsylvania State Police, the Firearms Division, and he said that he was going to make the call to the police down there and tell them what the law in Pennsylvania was. So, now that I'm a Pennsylvania citizen, a resident as well, um, this is, I picked this up, you're saying, but you had one of those. Yeah, I did. But uh, this one's a little bit different. And it's a lot tighter. And it's pristine, and I got it for an awesome deal. The stock's nice and tight. It's not all wobbly. doesn't bang the gun, even when you're running. Now, I have an HK sling on it. but and I got uh, a couple mags with it. Now, these are loaded. I was going to take it to the range tomorrow. But, um, so that's a new one for, take it out and take it for a test drive. Oh, I just, I really like this design. M223. But that's what I'll be getting back from the police is an AR-15. That was, like I said, stolen from my residence in Aberdeen, Maryland. And I also was told to try these cloths for my nickel plated gun or stainless I don't know stainless this ain't nickel this is stainless but it's for stainless and nickel plated firearms to get all the carbon residue and poor Paul told me about it because he has a couple nickel plated guns and it's just a towel and he said he was just sitting around watching TV and scrubbing the cylinder or he's got a 4570 IMI revolver it's like this big we shot it. It's on a couple of videos back. Um, but he said it took all the carbon off around the cylinder top and the, the barrel and all around. It just made it look amazing. And then he did it. He has a 45 long colt that he uh, polished up too. So I'm going to give it this. And I have my... I'll do a before and after video with my stainless coat I have because I've had it for 16 years but I've never even heard of this before. So we'll see if I can clean any of the old residue from, you know, just the solvents that you use off of it. 
That would be nice if I can get it to look bright and crisp like it used to. But, uh, yeah, that's about what's going on here. What I'll be doing shooting video. I think we're going to do a shoot, a big shoot, uh, probably Labor Day weekend or sometime in October when it cools down a little bit because it's just been hot and with having a new family and still working all the way down in Maryland. Don't leave me with much time to just sit around and make videos. So, just, so keep, it, keep watching for my... I'm going to actually do a video when I take this to work and actually airbrush it. Um, DSA makes these 30 round mags. They're a little tight when you first get them, but I'm sure once they broke in, they're, they'll be fine. I can't wait to take this out on range. It's a good shooter. But we'll see. And uh, I'll do some uh, shooting videos with the Galani here soon, too. So keep watching. And if anybody knows about this cover, let me know. I like the replace Blood Man's part. You know, it's uh, happened in my Aegis, so I might as well replace the damage. I felt bad when I, you know, I was bringing it down to him because he was tech checking it out the last time he was down about a month or so ago. And I noticed the battery was hanging out of the cover and I was like, oh man. And of course he was, well, don't worry about it. But no, it worries me because he's been my friend for 30 years and friends take care of friends. So thanks for all your new subscribers and keep watching for some shooting videos. And soon we'll have be doing some dirt bike riding again. So, God bless, and see you on the next time.